endure it forever. Want to praise the name of the Lord for the success of the past global crusades. We've had divine connection, signs and wonders, divine touch, divine solution, and showers of blessings in Christ. And in all these programs, we've seen God moved. Therefore, we want to lift our voice and say, thank you, Lord, for the successes of the past crusade. Shall we all open our mouth and begin to worship the name of the Lord? In Jesus' name, we pray. In Psalm 103, Psalm 103 says from verse 1, Praise the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. All thy iniquities, who healed all thy diseases, who redeemed thy life from destruction, who crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagle. Want to praise the name of the Lord once again for those who were saved in the past crusade, who were healed, who were delivered, who were set free of the Lord. Let's open our mouth and worship the name of the Lord. Praise him for what he has done in the past and praise him for what he's going to do today because today God we move at this crusade from today to the end. It's going to be showers of blessings and miracles, garo everywhere. Worship the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In First Corinthians chapter two, verse nine and ten. 1 Corinthians 2, 9 and 10, But as it is written, eyes have not seen, nor ear heard, neither has he entered into the heart of man, the things which God has prepared for them that love him. But to us by his Spirit, for the Spirit searched all things, yea, the deep things of God. I want us to pray because at this Wonders of the cross crusade. God is going to set free the captives. God is going to liberate those who are bound. God is going to save sinners, restore backsliders, set free the captives. I want you to pray. Lord, remember me and visit me and my family at this crusade. Open your mouth and pray that God will remember you. God will visit you. God will scatter every power of the enemy in your life and give you unforgettable miracle at this global crusade. Pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Acts of Apostles, chapter 4, the apostles were praying. And this is one of their prayer requests. Wait, wait, wait. By stretching forth your hand to hear that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. I want us to pray that during this global crusade, the wonders of the cross global crusade, that signs, wonders will be the experience of everyone every day, whether online, whether at this place, Alpha location, and in all the locations all over the world, that God will move. I want us to pray. Pray for God's power to move, that incurable diseases will be healed, sinners will be saved, will be restored, 
burning women, children, pray that this crusade will be unforgettable. In Jesus' name, pray. In Psalm 118, verse 19 and 20 says, Open unto me the gate of righteousness. We want to pray that at this global crusade, God will open in every nation, every closed gate, the gate of righteousness, so that sinners can flow in. Believers can come in and stand like Enoch of old, Daniel of old, that God will fraud your life with grace and power to stand to serve him or through your life till you see Jesus face to face. Let us pray. Gate of righteousness to be opened. Every closed door to be opened. In Jesus' name we pray. In 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9, the Bible says, God granted an open door, a great and effectual door was opened. Though there were some persecution, affliction, and adversity, we want to pray that all places where the door has been closed against the gospel, at this global crusade, it will be opened, and that God's power will penetrate into every nook and cranny of the world, bringing souls, sinners unto the Lord. Pray that everywhere where the door has been shut against the gospel, open it up. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 19 and 20. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 19 and 20, we want to pray for our Father in the Lord. He says here, and for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth with boldness and make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in bond, that here, therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Want to pray for our Father in the Lord that God Almighty will grant him fresh anointing, authority, unction, power, so that as he ministers throughout these days of we will see him with fresh anointing as he ministers. In Jesus' name, we pray. Holy Father, everlasting King of we thank you because of the vision of the global crusade. Thank you for our Father in the Lord, whom you have given this vision and praying King of glory at this global crusade, the wonders of the cross. There is going to be wonders, miracle everywhere for our audience on the airline, online audience, and all the audience in this Alpha location here where we are, and all over the, the world, there will be miracle, signs, wonders. Do it, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.